Hello, Hello everyone. everyone! Welcome back to another video. Today we are at Fisher Ground Campsite. We're just going to start off, we're going to be doing a 12 mile circular walk. As you can see, the surroundings are absolutely fantastic. We're going to start off, Harvey's got map duty today. We've downloaded the map on the OS app and he pays for the monthly subscription which gives you everything that you need to know about the walk and all the public rights of way which is ideal on a walk like this we do have a paper map as a backup because i'm not a massive massive trustworthy believer in technology i do like the old paper so we're starting off here we're coming out from the campsite we are early so we can't pitch up yet so we're going to do a 12 miler we're beginning the walk on Fisher Ground Farm, walking through their property, so to speak. We have got public right away here. We're heading up towards the hills. There we go, through the public footpath here. Lovely car. Here we go, into the wild we go. Immediately after coming away from Fisher Ground campsite, we're crossing the rail track. Look at this bad boy. Looks like something that you see at Flamingo Land that comes round. It's only little. Here we go, here's the start of the walk. Incline straight away. Looking forward to this. I've never been to this part of the Lake District before. We've got a few walks planned for the whole weekend, but as I said, because we're early at the campsite, we can't pitch. The plan B was to go for a walk. That's what you're going to do, aren't you? We just got shorts on the day. We have got the jack now because it is starting to spit. But when you come to the Lake District, the weather is just unpredictable. It's never what you're going to think it's going to be. We've got bait in our bags. Made some pasta last night, very nice. So we're gonna have that at about six mile round. We're now at the top of the first hill. We're heading towards a place called Mitterdale. Straight down from us here, we've got the campsite. There's a farm that we passed over there. Left of us we've got, that's where Scarfell is and everything over there. To the right, you can see the sea. What a fantastic view. The rain stopped now. Walking up was like a greenhouse. So jackets off. Sweating straight away as you can tell by my breath. Chatted. But we've done nearly a mile already and we're going well. Are you all right, Harvey? There we go. But look at that, brilliant. So walking from that view, we've feed off to the left. So we're going away from the campsite now. We're going, we're heading towards this big lake. And I think it's gonna be fantastic views down there. But it's really dense around here where we at. Very dense. Some of the walks, you'll find on the OS maps that if the public path has long green mark on it, it means that it's basically not going to be the best of footpaths. You might get lucky, it might be, but from what I've been on them, when I've took like that kind of route, they've never been walked in years. Well, here we are, still going on. Finally got signal now, we've had no signal for since we've almost gotten to the lakes. It's just pinging up now. We're still going strong. As I've just said, I've just got signal. And my phone's just pinged up saying, welcome to the Isle of Man. What the hell's happening there? <laughs> Don't think it knows where I'm at. So you said out, man. We're just coming out of Mitterdale now. And look at this here. You're looking and you're thinking, my God, I'm such a dot 
in this vast open land. It's unreal. No, when you think there's tree here, then you've got trees down there and you size it up, you think, my God, that's huge. Actually unreal. Yeah, so we, we're going on out. What's the next place, Harvey, it's called? We keep checking the west maps to make sure that we're on the right path. You can't really go wrong because there's only one path down here to begin with. But Harvey's got our location here. We're going to a place called Bakerstead. Bakerstead. Down the river. There we go. River Mite. The river Mite. She was just down there. Let's go. Well, we've hit an obstacle straight away. I don't like these because it's slippy. I haven't got the best of balance. Oh, it's really slippy. Really slippy. <laughs> My foot's wet. And these are Vibram soles. What's going on? Right, we're walking through a place called Pickle Coppice now. I'm not a big fan of when you're walking. It feels like you're walking in someone's house. I hear a lot of dogs. As always, keep the footpath. Well, we've picked the pace up a bit now because we want to try and get up to three miles per hour, which is going to give us an overall better score on the OS map. That's another good feature about it. But that's walking, possibly four. But there's no speed cameras. Found a nice little spot here for some snacks and a drinks break. Wish I had a cup of coffee with his like, but I don't know that look. They've been doing some survival woodcraft here. Oh, I love this seat. Well, we've had a bit break there. We had to sit down, had a little bite to eat. We're off to Winrig now. So we're heading back on the path. Left, then right. We've passed quite a lot of walkers there, so this is obviously a hot spot for tourists to walk with hikers. And we haven't passed no one else yet. These are the only people that we've seen so far. We've done roughly four mile. So we've got about six, seven to go. The walk itself was a bit longer than what I thought because where I planned the walk, I thought I started from Fisher Ground campsite, but I didn't, I started further up. So when we went up that really steep bit at the beginning of the video, that's where I started from. So from that point, it was roughly just over 10 mile. So we've got quite a bit to go. This is all up now. So we've had a break though. We've retuned ourselves, energised. I'll see you at the top. Ooh, we're about halfway up now. As you can tell by my head hair, sweating like hell. Harvey's on a mission. But the views are worth it. When you're doing these walks, just take your time. Stop when you need to, get your breath back, and continue. Walk, breath back, drink, repeat. That's what you need to do. Yeah, this is the easy bit now. And then it goes really steep again. Harvey's had a bit of a nightmare, so there was about eight lads who pulled up down the car park down there. Immediately they were saying, lads, do you know where this place is? So Harvey was like, ah, you can look at my map. So he had a look. He said, all right, lads, it's that way. We had that break. Harvey pointed out, he just went, no. He sent them off in the wrong direction. So where are you going this way? And he sent the lads that way. So it's a good job we're going the wrong direction because I bet they would get uh, chasing. 
Never mind, Harvey. Always take a map. <laughs> there you go. Well, we at the first pile of stones. Can, if you want to call it that. There's Winrig. That's where we're going. After that, that's where we're going to have our dinner. Again, amazing scenery. Absolutely class. Harvey here, as you can see there, he's got trainers on. I've got boots. Kind of wish I wore trainers myself, but he's the problem. I've snapped broke from my ankles, so I need that support. That's the only thing. But I bet they're ahead of it later. Right, so, nearly there. Can't wait for me dinner. We're both getting hungry. Well, we're going to have our bait now, as you can see below us here. Amazing view. That's Wass Water. Bit of info about that. It's the only lake in the Lake District. And it's also the deepest in the Lake District. In England, sorry. Deepest in England. Ah, oh, look at that. Absolutely amazing views. So, perfect spot to have our dinner. And then, we're heading back off after this. Up there, there there's a tan to the right of us here. That's where we're going. Aye, so that's the plan. Good so far. Feet are hurting a bit, but we're doing all right. Legs. Don't go on an all-inclusive holiday, eat as much as you can for a week, and then come to the lakes and do 12 mile. Horrendous. Right, everyone. A little bit of info of where we are now. This is Ilgil Head, 609 metres. Over there, that's Scarfell Mountain, not Scarfell Pike. A little bit shorter than Scarfell Pike. That mountain over there, that's Great Gable, and you've got Esk Pike. Just down this mountain over here, you've got Wasdale Town or Village. I don't know which one it is. So yeah, that's where we are now. I'll hand you over to Dale. We are at Burn Muatan now. I'm having a couple of minutes. There's a town behind us there. Harvey's a bit further down there. We've just come down from the mountain up there. So the... Don't know about you, but... My knees knack coming down. Do you get that? Sometimes I prefer going up than what I do coming down. These knees just kill them. The knees are wobbling there a little bit. It's coming down. We're having a bit of a break now. We're going to head off. We're going to have a walk through the valley. It's just basically flat now until we get back to Eskdale. But I've enjoyed it. It's been good. But I haven't, I haven't been out in a while doing out like this. Not this big. So I am starting to feel it now a little bit. Looking forward to throw a few titties when I get back. I'm excited. Harvey's got some whiskey. We know. Right, we're going to head off past this massive tan and continue on. Weather's staying okay. Slight rain at the top of the mountain there, but there was, the wind was the worst. When we was eating our dinner, I had a little jacket on to retain me, me body heat. I think I would have got a bit cold. That's where we've come down from. The fog's starting to kick in. It's raining now. Come this way. Got Scarfell there straight ahead. We've come back up the hill a little bit. And then we're going to be heading off back down to Eskdale. I've had to stop using the, the microphone for a little bit because it's been lashing down. We're soaking wet. But we've come from Burn Mue, Tan. Then we come across it. What's it called again, Harvey? Bratz Moss. Now we had Bratz Moss. Continue. At least this is flat this bit. But as I just said, there we are a bit wet. But we're continuing on now. We've got a couple of miles to go, then we're back. It feels like I've been here all day. We've enjoyed it though. We're forward to getting the tent up. And a pint. And a pint of Wainwright, by the way. Here we are. Here's a bit of a tip for you. When you're planning a walk, have a look at how big the mountains are before you even walk it. I've totally misjudged how high 
we've gone today, up, been up and down, totally misjudged. But we've got about a mile and a half to go, maybe it's two mile. We've been out since just about half nine, it's now four o'clock. We've had our lunch in there. But my God, it's exhausting. Almost at the wall now. But we're plodding on. We've got Blee Town coming up now. But yeah, make sure you check on the OS map because when it's got little lines going round and they're very tight together, that's when the mountain's going to be really high. When the lines are really wide apart, that's when it's pretty flat. So take that in mind. Don't do my mistake. And this is Blee Town. Very nice. Be a nice camping spot there. If you've come to you before Bleak Tan, then like the video, subscribe, and comment. Hey, something nice at Bleak Tan here. Flowers poking out from the bottom. Gorgeous. Loads of them. It's funny how they, they're just round here. I, I can't see them further over there, the, some there around that bit. Just in there. Well, we're near Hollinghead Crag now. We've just passed this bit here, this big stretch, and it was a bit like marshy. But there's loads of these little bridges, so they've obviously got some funding for that. It's fantastic. So, although it is lashing down by our feet, well, all the boggy bits have stayed well dry. So wearing these boots at the minute, although they are a bit heavy, um, I'm happy that my feet are dry. It's nice there, uh, look, top of bog. This is what it's been like. So every bridge that we've been under here, over. I swear, I've got a bee chasing us here, like, zoom me in. I'm sure it's following us from, uh, from the bottom of Scarfell. So won't leave us alone. Well, we're back to where we started the walk. I did say that we had to add on a little bit onto the walk because I planned it slightly wrong. But this is where we first started. Campsite, it's just past these trees here. This is the path where we came up. Now we're heading back down. I'm really excited to get the campsite. We all just soaked. Harvey's wet through, I'm wet through now. Seep through. My ankle's hurting. I'm just one of these whiny people now. But I guarantee, now let us know if you're the same, that when you get back to your tent, you get changed, showered, whatever, and you sat with a beer and you've got food on the go, you talk to each other, you'll be like, it was alright that walk, wasn't it? Can he go? Then you'll forget about it. Then you'll do exactly the same thing in like a month's time. Whinging all the way down. Or is that just me? I don't know. I think I'm only whinging because of the weather, to be honest. Really, just wasn't expecting it to be that far. But we've done it. We've done well. Harvey's done well. But he's going in the Marines soon. So he wants all this training. He needs it. I'm not, so I don't. When you're on these kind of walks and you know you're getting to the limit of you getting tired and you feel like you want to give up, well, just have five minutes and just dig deep. Think of how much you want to do it. Think I can do it. Think positive thoughts. Push yourself. Sometimes when you come out of your comfort zone, you're pushing them limits, it's going to make it a little bit harder and stronger. And as I, as I said earlier, you're going to come home and you'll look back on it and you'll think, oh, I did all right there, class. It makes you more hardy. That's what you want to be doing. Don't just give up, continue and crack on, just like I've done today. I'm knackered, but I've done it. Back the campsite now, behind us there. So I'll end the video here because we're back now. But if you've liked it, subscribe there. You watch some on the corners. I'm going to add the walk in 
after this. So I'll show you exactly where I've gone. I'll also put it on the OS maps so you can see it. If you're on OS maps, you'll have to sign up to it. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed. You're going to say bye, Harvey. See you later. Ta so as you can see there, we started off with Fisher Ground campsite. On the sheet there, it says farm. We're going to walk up past the train tracks. That's where we start to get high. Fell end. Had a look around the quarry, but there wasn't really much there. So now we're heading towards Mitterdale. We headed up here. Walked up now. This is where we had our first little pit stop. We stayed around here. Crossed over the little river there. Now we're heading towards Mitterdale Head. Really nice forest, that bit. Tung Mower. So you get a fantastic view of Burn Mower Tarn. We headed up past that, then came back on ourselves. Walked up here past the tarn. We came all the way across. And then we just came across this boot bank. And then that was it, really. Then we're back to where almost we started. Came back up there, up, round. And we finished off almost where we started. So we joined back into the path there, Holling Head Crag, and then we came back down to the campsite. It says 10 miles, but where we started from, it wasn't exactly that. 